Everyone wants a high quality piece of software. However, it creates what's sometimes known as the software quality dilemma. It's basically a twofold problem. If you build bad software, i.e. low quality, then no one will want to buy or use it. On the other hand, spend too much time on quality measures and no one gets a chance to buy or use it because it either costs too much or it's still being worked on. The issue is how do you find the proper middle ground where your first users don't feel like they're beta testers but can still afford the software and have it come out in time to beat your competitors. Therefore, you must be able to build something that is good enough, but how is that defined? Especially since one of the goals of software engineering is to build the high quality software. Well, Apple is notorious for building systems which lack features, but are good enough because they're not too buggy, at least generally, in case you have to remember Apple Maps when it first came out. Their users know that they will be adding features to the hardware and or software over the coming months and years, and they're willing to continually upgrade their systems. By doing this, Apple puts out more products and is able to please their users. Similarly, Google is notorious for actually putting the beta label on new products and keeping it there often for years. This is so that people realize that it's not done yet and they're a little bit more forgiving of software that does have issues. The question is, how will your organization work through this problem? Will it use an MVP approach to figure out what people want and ensuring that it's released of a high quality? Or will they need to do something else? An important thing to remember is while some people, especially the bean counters, will worry about the cost of quality, they often forget to ask about the cost of something that is poor quality. And that can be much higher.